Pitch. The defending uh, 1500 meters world champion Asbel Kiprop right there for you. Moses, uh, do you know Asbel Kiprop will be running in his 10th year this year? He first won Kenya's uh, medal at, uh, at the 2007 uh, World Cross Country Championships. So apart from seeking a, a fourth World Athletics Championships, it's his 10th anniversary in track and field. When we talk about his 10th anniversary, maybe it might not be the sweetest that a person will expect it to be because competition will be stiff this time out in matters with the 1500 meters. Mm -hmm. And there are also some other stars. Specifically, let's talk about Elijah Manangoi because he's also one chap that people are saying maybe this is a time that he's going to bring that medal. Yeah, well, in 2015, Elijah Manangoi was a surprise uh, silver medal winner. And everyone was like, who is this Elijah Manangoi? Uh, it's different uh, this year because Elijah Manangoi goes to the World Athletics Championships as the world leading athlete. He has the best time this year. He ran at that time at the Monaco Diamond League just two weeks ago. But also in the team, there's Timothy Chariot, who was second at the Monaco Diamond League. He's Manangoi's a training partner. And uh, these are the two athletes that are giving Asbel Kiprop a sleep, sleepless night. But uh, we first of all focus on Elijah Manangoi, who will be hoping to make up for the 2016 Rio Olympics disappointments. My preparation to World Championship is good. Um, continue with my training. The shape is not bad. I run in Monaco, good dress. So I think I'm going to perform good this time round in London World Championship. This time round, I'm not in under, under pressure because uh, I'm pretty in good form. What is there, I'm focused now in any medal, either bronze or silver or gold. And then I know we have a very strong team, in f especially Kenyans, 1,500 meters. Asbel is there, the defending champion, Ronald Kuemoi, and also my training mate, Timothy Chariot. So <laughs> there's no any joke there. What is there is that uh, one focus for any medal, and I'll be very happy. But what is there, I'm focused now with gold, not silver. Yeah, that is what I'm looking for. I have now enough experience, because in uh, 2015, I doesn't have uh, an experience. So I think this time around, I've changed my training. It's really high, hard. Uh, my coach, uh, Bernard Uma, um, changed the training. So I think this time around, I have um, uh, more experience and also the, the training has changed. So I think, and I've learned a lot of uh, many things in, in the track. So you see, I know how to attack any, any angle of the field. So that's something that uh, gave me an experience to win maybe, maybe a gold. I was really disappointed in Rio. And that is something that gave me an, uh, morale maybe to come with a goal in London this time because I don't want to disappoint in the second round so I don't even want to to remember about Rio please so I just need to concentrate about London and to bring gold home. And a lot of people, if they remember Manangoi, they'll remember two years ago, before actually the Beijing World Championship, he was a 400 meters specialist. And yes, he's a coach that is Bernard Ouma. Just yeah, had some tips him. with him yeah. and advised him to go and try. Even Manangoi himself say yeah. he thought it was very, very hard for him to win medals in matters to do with a 400. But if you, if you ask me, I think the two and a half lap race is working for Manangoi. It's uh, so, so, so much working for Manangoi. Now, let's move out of matters to do with what is happening here locally by our local athletes and talk about uh, Russia. We know Russia has been on the spot for quite a number of, uh, of, of years now. And now a team is going to, different teams are going to the World Championship. And for Russia, only 11 athletes who, for that matter, will not be going as with the tag of uh, Russia. Actually, each and, each and every athlete uh, going to the World Championships from Russia had to apply individually to the uh, IAF for them to be allowed to compete. Yes, and actually, uh, 